Dork here again. Hey, today I want to talk to you about um, something from Rob Wonderlick. Um, it's, it's out on his website, ClickView Cookbook. It's called the Document Analyzer for ClickView. And what this does is really, really awesome. So you're just going to hit this website. I've, I've already sent you the link, likely. And you're going to be able to download it, an application. What I want to do is walk you through what that application does then. And so when the application comes up, all you're going to do is you're simply going to replace the sample that's there with a path to some application you want to analyze. Um, more than likely, you've used our governance dashboard or some other performance dashboard you've pulled offline, and you've found some app that you know is a real resource hog, whether it's CPU or memory. Um, so you're going to point this application at that, and all you're going to do is you're going to, once you point, you're going to say, I want you to extract the metadata from it. It's going to go out, it actually loads that application and then pulls everything. And it's going to tell you, hey, I've already got everything done. You need to do a reload of this app. And so I'm just going to kick off reload here and it reloads that data. Now what I can do is take a look and I can use this thing and I can save results if I want to. I can do a comparison like, hey, this app is being worked on. Let's do a compare before and after um, we make version 2.0 of the app or something like that. So there's a comparison analyzer as well that comes in a bundle for this where you can compare two different um, exports from some app. I can walk through, I can look at a quick summary and hey, here's the application I was looking at. Um, here's how long it takes to open the application. Um, so that I can see, hey, there's a ton of memory. This is taking, you know, 15 seconds to load. That's probably something that should be cached. Or, hey, this takes a, one second to load. We don't have to cache that, uh, that app. If end users are the first one in the day, it's not going to be a big deal. So that's valuable stuff in and of itself. I can look at the number of fields. And here's what's valuable for some apps, because there's some apps that are giant out there. They might have tons and tons of fields. I've only got 87 fields, but here's the important thing. I've got 87 fields, but I've got an awful lot of these that are not used. I did not use these in charts. I did not use them in expressions. I don't reference these fields at all. Maybe this application doesn't need to load all of those fields. I can look at what tables are out there, how many rows, what keys I've got how big things are. I can look at where I've created groups um, within ClickView so that I can drill down to things or drill across things, depending on whether it may be a cyclic drill or a drill down. Um, it's gonna show me those things so that I know what's being used. Um, I know what charts end up using a group expression. Uh, so I could find those things really, really quickly uh, to know what I'm using. I can look at the dimensions. I can see, hey, here's dimensions that are used um, in sharps. Here's calculated dimensions that are used in sharps so that I can follow that kind of thing. All really good stuff. I can look at expressions. This walks through every single place you used expressions um, in the code. I still remember when Rob um, was building this and looking at this function list um, and thought, how neat. I think this, for me, as somebody who was mentoring other developers, it always gave me a good idea what, what functions are they calling me. Is there anything really complicated in these apps, or is this stuff that I should have expected them to do, or is, are there things that they're continually doing? Like, hey, why are you doing that? There's a much easier way to do that. Um, so you can get an idea of what functions are being used um, and whether they're very advanced or not. Um, and sometimes you might see a function that you've never seen before. And, and you want to go off and look at that function and do some lookup. Like, why is this developer using that? Oh my gosh, I never saw it get selected count before or something. Um, what it'll do is it'll, it'll walk through, show you the expressions. Um, one of the things that's neat, if you ever have expressions where it's simply a case change um, for the function name, that's something that's a no-no. You want to replace that so those things get recalculated just once. 
Um, so you can walk through and see where things like that are there. You can say, hey, I only want to see the functions that are used in set analysis. Um, and so you can narrow those things down. You can look at things that don't use variables or things that use variables. You can look at expressions that have been enabled um, in charts, or maybe I've got a table where based on some variable, that expression is either required to display some data or not. Um, so you can see all that. You can take a look at all of your variables and see what the code is behind these things. Um, so on and on and on as this thing goes on, one of the neat things as you're thinking potentially of moving to click sense um, is it's going to walk you through and start showing you where you potentially might have some converter issues. Um, so this is going to show me, hey, here's the objects um, that it would convert. Um, if I were to import this into ClickSense, it would create master visuals of these things. Um, so this is some pretty neat stuff. One of the things that's neat is it always will also show you the calculation time. How much CPU time um, is taken for this? If it has any recommendations, it'll actually come out and make some recommendations. Um, which is crazy. Um, so this is saying, hey, this is a numeric field, but it's taking more than eight bytes. Maybe you want to change the way this thing is displayed. Um, so this is really crazy cool stuff that Rob's presented for you. Super duper easy to get to it. You download the app. It's, you move that zip file into a directory. And then you can run this app on any application you've got running your code. So you could make this any easier for you. Um, so again, here's here's the website if you wanted to get to it. Hopefully you've already got clickviewcookbook.com in your favorites. I certainly do. I don't know why you wouldn't. Um, the stuff that Rob's presented is amazing. Um, take advantage of this thing.